Check out my brand new book, Micro Living, available through Amazon.com, and my transforming A-frame cabin plans are down below in the description. We also have a hands-on 10-house building and design workshop coming up in North Carolina with our guest hosts, Chris Shaptick, Chris Strathy, a.k.a. The Capable Carpenter, in his mobile woodworking studio, and Andrew Odom from Tiny House, North Carolina. Check it out in the description below or relaxshacks.com. Shacks.com at the Oklahoma City Home and Garden Show. And we're walking by checking out some of the uh, exhibits, Lurch on the camera. And this one was particularly striking. It's by Exo Design. It's a she shed down by the seashore, styled by Sally. No, not really. Um, I want to show you this because while it's not a tiny house, it's particularly interesting. And that, there's a couple little like, I don't want to call them hacks, but simple measures they've taken to take a very vernacular of base structure and make it look sexier. And I'm gonna point a few of these out because a lot of this, for starters, is built and trimmed with a uh, hardy plank or hardy board, which is pretty durable, it's affordable. So right there you're saving some money uh, and you're getting durability and lasting power out of it. But what's cool about this, if you really look at it at a base level, it's a slider and on either side there's two windows and that's really it. But what they've done to change it to look so it's not so monotonous and boring as just a shed as they added in the tongue and groove treated stain siding here as well. Uh, you'll look up at the roof, and we'll go inside in a second to show you this, but this is really simple. T111, if you're not familiar with that, that's Texture 111, something developed, I believe, in the 70s to mimic the look of planks. It's very affordable. I'm not really a fan of it, but in this implication, it looks pretty good. Um, I like this little farm style light here too. But in here, they took what basically is a simple shed, gave it a nice wall treatment. This is T111 for the roof, which I haven't seen done that much, and it gives it that planked style when it's really a cheap material. And uh, in here, you have your almost your peel and stick tiles on the floor, and then your ASIC style synthetic trim as well. If you look at the windows, the treatment, and the trim around the slider, uh, and the roof here. Joyce wise just simply two by sixes, which by themselves wouldn't look so great, but you slap a coat of white paint on them, they start to look a little classier, a little more serene. I love the 1950s looking mid-century modern light in here as well. So while they save money in a lot of other arenas, they put in a couple expensive pops like this, a really cool couch, kind of almost Danish modern. Uh, there's a space over here for writing, reading, scheming, plotting world domination. I just really like the almost tile looking flooring work over here. I'm trying to see if it's analyzed. Whatever the case, I really like it. Um, check these guys out online. I'm going to look up all the information, put it down in the description below. And make sure you check out one of our upcoming workshops in North Carolina. going to be hands on. And hit that like button, that little bell thing, subscribe. And we will see you uh, sooner, if not later. Again, reporting here from the Oklahoma City Home and Garden Show 2019. Thank you guys for joining me.